Hello, and welcome back to Cinco House. We are on my best streak, 173 points in six games. We are going into our seventh game. Uh, here I am. I'm alive. I have four artifacts. One that recharges wands, one that swaps my position, one that is an extra wand that has two charges, and one that recharges artifacts. And if you recharge the wand with that, you uh, get both the charges back, which is very strong. Uh, we also have... Timid ghosts, which just means that if we walk uh, near them, uh, they won't walk. Timid ghosts will never walk adjacent to you, I, is essentially the rule. So you're never in parity with a timid ghost, and it will always do one damage to you. Pretty annoying, but in general, not too bad. I usually shoot at ghosts anyway, so hasn't been a huge burden. Um, we also have five keys. Uh, haven't seen what that does yet. Haven't found out what that does yet. Oh, and look, we sent our... <laughs> I forgot we did that. We sent two potions uh, to us, which is great. <laughs> these are these are potions from the past. We sent them forward to, uh, to make our lives a little easier on this floor. Which was a great plan. All right, um... couple options here i was i was tempted to shoot a wand up i kind of there's like one downside to this if it if it polymorphs keys or if it banishes keys i'm not extremely happy with that play because i actually do want this book books are pretty powerful on early floors uh it's really nice to know what your wands do all right and it looks like our order here is recharge a wand then wand, then swap position, then recharge an artifact. Cool. So, let's see. Maybe... I don't know, this isn't too... Let's start shooting wands. I think maybe this wand. Nothing. Now let's try this wand. Constructs a wall, makes a spike. It looks like we're bumping for a bit here. Uh, do we take our damage on this lizard? I say why not, it puts us in parity with the shrimp. Then for this lizard, we can hide it into a spike, hopefully. Eventually. Hey. Oh, that heals. Interesting. Is this worth trying something? Huh. That's cool. Maybe shoot something at you? Does a damage instant, though? I guess we're stalling with this, then? Shooting it right? Moves the door? Okay. Not a bad first floor. Certainly was made easier by that, uh... Uh, double potion that I sent myself. Very happy about that. Alright, here, what are we doing? It's... We'd like to Earthquake, but it's right here, which is hard to get to. Uh, we can bump a shrimp. I think that's fine. Shoot a ghost at instant speed? Is that anything useful? Did I shoot this directly at things before? I don't think I did. Hmm...
Maybe this is fine. Oh, wow. That is fine. We can recharge that wand and make more treasure later. Uh, is there a way for me to get this earthquake shot off? I don't know. We have a heal and a move door. So we want to move in this direction and move the door over here here when we heal. Uh, does that have any implications for what we're doing? I guess it means we're fine with taking a damage. You can put a spike here, but it also puts a wall, and I don't think the wall's great. All right, we can pick this up from afar if we... Oh, but only if we don't want to use the Earthquake. Okay, not that appealing. It'd be kind of cool if this lizard moved up, right? It would have been. Hmm... All right, I don't, I don't think we're getting off this earthquake effect. Uh, well, probably. I think we want to shoot this at some lizards, and if that's the case, I think we're moving up to do that. What did we forget? We forgot identify. Okay. This is a little awkward. Move up here, take our damage. A lizard to follow us. There's a chance if we move right here, we can earthquake without having two lizards beside us. It has failed. Um, this is kind of bad, isn't it? We're taking two damage. And then two damage. Or no, two damage, then one damage. That's pretty bad. If we make a wall, we are taking I think we still earthquake, right? There's a chance this this kills a lizard anyway. Uh we're always taking two three damage here. And this is safer if it actually kills something. We'll go with that. It doesn't... So then, here, we're killing a lizard, taking our damage, killing a lizard. Sure. Maybe we want to recharge our... our heal wand. I was wanting to be greedy and recharge the... the, uh... the treasure wand, but we can't afford that. Um, we can check if this is recharge. It's not. Let's do this. Recharge our wand. Uh, what does this do? Recharge is an artifact in which we can only recharge <laughs> the thing we just had. Interesting. I think two health from that's fine. We have an extra turn here, and the only thing we can ever recharge is this, so I guess we'll do it. Alright, moving on. I'd love to get this Earthquake spot. 
I don't know if that's happening, though. If we move forward, we're keeping a ghost from moving. Hmm. This is a recharge. This would deal with one ghost. Uh, realistically, are we, we're taking one damage to kill two ghosts, a shrimp, and do damage to a frog? <laughs> means the frog's right in front of us. But we can instant attack it? But that wastes our treasure. I don't know, we're a bit in survival mode here, I think. We'd like our extra wand, which is next. We have a recharge. Does this create the spikes before the wall gets created? I think it doesn't. I think the, this wall creation... Because <sighs> I've been trying to figure out this, this, this order stuff. I think how this works is, like, it applies all effects it can to the first ray space and then moves on to the next one. So I think if this ray space creates this wall, then once this next ray triggers, it's gonna look and say, hey, is there space for this spine? And it's gonna say no. Um, so I don't think that works. I wanted to like put a spine down there and have a ghost run into it maybe, but that doesn't seem to be happening. I forget our treasure effect if we do anything here. We do have a sleep wand. This is a little tricky, I think. I'm not strictly opposed to this, like, play where I move down to take a damage. Uh, move down to take a damage and then earthquake. Actually, I'm not even guaranteed to take a damage because I don't know how Tamido works. It could be that if the ghost isn't allowed to move here, it'll move, like, one of these other spaces. No, it tries to move there, and then it, it fails. Interesting. I don't know. This is about as good as any plan I have right now. So let's Earthquake and see what happens. I spent a gem to kill a frog. Um, I don't think I'm super happy about that, but I'm not, like... that disappointed either i didn't like what was happening on this floor uh is there any way we can use this sleep and not forget something i want <laughs> we can delay a turn and move the all right this wraps around is there any way for me to exploit that Yes, up here. So, like, we get this frog in this column. Do we get two treasures from this? This is kind of sick, if that's the case. We do. And that's another artifact. Also, that had... This effect that I theorized was kill animals without full health, and I think he didn't have full health. Yeah, from the Earthquake, he didn't have full health, so... Okay, that worked out. I think we're doing another double heal here, but we're probably checking what our artifact is first. Oh, what is that? Hello? There appears to be a second door. Is this what the key effect does, maybe? Well, that's very intriguing. Oh, and it's like a it's like a hidden door. It goes away when I move away. Interesting. Okay, that's exciting. Let's uh we're definitely going that way, but we need to 
get these gems and see what our new artifact is. Take a treasure, hurt animals that are connected. This has to be pretty good, right? I mean, this is cool for... Um... I mean, I assume this lets you take any treasure on the, on the, uh, on the floor, so that's pretty good for, like, taking keys. But this, like, actually helps me not die, so... <laughs> I think I want this. It's not always the most useful, but it is... It does seem pretty good. Okay, and then... While we're here, maybe we're shooting this downward uh, and then shooting this upward to maybe recharge it, if that's possible. It is not. We then use this to recharge the wand, get another uh, health from it, and then go through this secret door. Ooh! Melhorna un ar ar artifact. What is happening here? So... These are both artifacts I already have, so I'm not, like, picking a new artifact. Am I? I already have these artifacts. I guess, uh... Do I want another recharge, or do I want a s another swap? I mean, recharge has been pretty sick so far. Let's get another recharge. Oh, we're not getting another recharge. We're like modifying our recharge artifact. Holy shit. Uh. I think this is like, it costs a gem to identify the charged wand. And this is open obstacles. Open obstacles sounds pretty good. Like this unlocks all key doors. That sounds pretty sick. Let's do that. Oh, I see. And now it has that little symbol below it. Cool. Uh, we have a forget wand right now. Hard to get the earthquake off, but that's what we'd like to do. One, two, three. One, two, and then I take a damage. But then everybody, everybody's getting earthquaked. And I can kill a rooster with an Aka bar. Uh, there's a nice double treasure here if we open this up. It's shoot right. We get a treasure here and a treasure here. Gotta be careful with this. Uh... I mean, I think this is pretty strong, right? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Oh, we have a frog above us. We Akabar. One, two, three, four. Uh, it sort of depends on where this rooster goes. Three, four... Oh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I'm getting hit twice if I do this. Alright, that's not quite as appealing. Maybe I have to make a wall for this to work. And I'm, like, walled in this stupid hole. Oh, zone of question mark. Huh. So this... I wonder if this is going to count as one of my floors or if I'm going to get an extra floor at the end. Hmm...
This is instant. It's kind of nice. We want Earthquake, but we don't want to pay for Earthquake. Oh, right. I had Akabar in our, uh, our plan, but that's the wand we wanted to use to make treasure. Maybe we throw that idea away. I think this floor is kind of hard. We could shoot our wand. It's just going to forget something, which is annoying, because I don't want to forget e either of these effects. Suppose I could forget this effect. We could sleep a frog and have it forget... <laughs> the forget effect? How are we ever dealing with these ghosts if we don't earthquake? <sighs> Alright, let's move left, see what's happening. Everybody's just moving in a line. Are we really forgetting our treasure effect? That feels so bad. And this this forgets effects too. Maybe there's a play here where you move down, you make a wall. Then you have a lizard beside you. What exactly are you doing about that? And you've only delayed the frog a little. Um, this is tricky. This is very tricky. Like, I don't want to forget. I'm okay with forgetting effects in this column. Maybe I am earthquaking. Taking two damage for an earthquake feels bad. But otherwise, how the hell are we doing anything? I'm okay with forgetting this instant, maybe. Maybe that's the play. It's like, move down, make a wall, sleep a lizard, double bop, Hopefully the rooster isn't off parity so I can shoot down and then, or move here, shoot down. Okay, let me figure out this parity then, if that's the case. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, I mean, this is just impossible to figure out. One, two... I mean, it, it, it's it's random, right? Because he's surrounded by two enemies, so it's quite possible that he can't move. Oh, no, he can always move. No, 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 no. It depends on turn order. Yeah, so it, it's it's essentially random if he's on the right parity or not. I still think this is okay. Like... Oh, okay, that's great. Um, And then we said we're okay with sleeping a lizard here. Is this off parity, though? I use it once, Rooster's off parity. I hit, Rooster's on parity. I hit again, Rooster's off parity, and I get to walk there. But then... It's hard for me to... Kill the Rooster? We can do this Akabar effect. We did say we didn't want our... Our, uh... Our treasure wand anymore. Hmm. Oh. Yeah, I was in the wrong spot for that, wasn't I? Also, we sniped it, so it didn't change our parity anyway. Uh, what do we do about this rooster, then?
Yeah, this is a bit rough now, huh? Um... Shoot. I think we're... Huh. This is instant damage. Potentially kills a rooster. We don't get treasure from it. But I think we'd like health more than treasure at this point. Maybe this solves this. It does not. Okay. Uh, is it worthwhile to shoot this at somebody? Fascinating. A duplicate, huh? Duplicate teleport. I mean, I guess I can just leave now, but is that really... I want to play this? It honestly doesn't seem bad. Is this ghost following me? It is if we're... If this rooster moves... Second. If the rooster moves first, the ghost is moving down here and almost certainly cutting me off, right? All right, let's see what's happening there. Okay, it is cutting me off. Because this is this is a two-turn swing, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. It doesn't really cut me off, does it? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, I mean, the right... One, two, three, four, five, six. I was trying to figure out some parody thing here. Wait a second. If we're on the same parody as the ghost, it won't encroach on our space. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. All right, that's not ideal. Huh. Let's teleport duplicate again. What a chaotic wand. Right, so here the ghost won't move adjacent to me. Um, which means maybe I heal with this and then move down and just accept that we're taking a damage and moving on. Like we just don't, we just don't have a way to deal with this rooster. I don't think. Hmm. Oh, that's kind of sick. So now are we okay with fighting a rooster? We take two damage for a treasure? Hmm. It seems okay. It's not amazing. We do kind of want to waste this wand. It would be nice to like duplicate a key and get two keys, but this like teleports them all over the 
Earth, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to pick both of them up without releasing the second rooster on myself. I don't think two damage for a treasure is great, is it? I don't even know what zone we're going into next. Was I in three or four when I went into this? Like, how many more levels are there? <laughs> this is kind of a stupid play. You could do, like, a... Duplicate rooster plus key thing. That's horrible, right? <laughs> I almost kind of want to just get rid of this one so that I have uh, something to do on the next floor. Uh, I wouldn't be opposed to forgetting... Well, I don't know. This kills on the other sides of walls and it makes a wall, which is nice. But potentially those effects are in the wrong order. If it if it processes the array, it checks this first and then this. I don't know. Um I think we just leave. I'm feeling uncomfortable. Uh there's like a herd of chicken akabar play here. Instant treasure, wrap around. Oh, this isn't instant anymore. It is still treasure wrap around, though. You can, like, get one here. Uh, this is the juicy. Sp oh, no, no, it's not a dead end. This is, like, one of the better positions you can do that in. Walk right, rock left, snipe a rooster seems good, but then it forgets this effect. So maybe you walk, walk uh, right, walk left, walk down. But then you're getting hit by a, a lizard. Make a spike in the way? Hurt things across walls? Oh, but that takes your Akabar away. Also makes a wall and blocks you in. Interesting. This might just kill a rooster, actually. If we move down and then do this effect, this, like, builds a wall, maybe hurts the rooster on the other side of the wall, and then... and then kills it because it's damaged? That's worth a shot. That is indeed how it works. Cool. So that's pretty good. We'd like to get Earthquake off. We don't want to spend a... Oh, we don't have any gems to spend. Perfect. Although I don't think we can get down there in time. Kind of annoying. Taking two lizard damage here puts... Or we take one lizard damage and it puts us off parity for the shrimp. Uh oh, we are in zone of four, by the way. I think we must have exited in zone of three. So that I think that was just like an extra floor that we had to do. <sighs> Empowered our artifacts. It's kind of cool. I mean, we would have loved to get an earthquake off here. It's so hard to get earthquake off. Because you don't start in the middle, it turns out. <laughs> This, okay, does this kind of save us a health? It's like, you no, because we're taking, no, that's a stupid idea. I was going to say, like, hit lizard, shoot downwards, uh, which kills the shrimp. We take a damage, but we save health. We take a, da oh, okay. <laughs> Two hits on lizard, we take one damage. Shrimp is now off parity, we have to take a damage to deal with shrimp. Um, so that's two damage total. If we hit Lizard, then shoot this, this kills Shrimp, 
But then we take our second damage anyway, but we get it healed from this. Uh, but, you know, we could have done this with, you know, anyway with the other effect, and we'd maybe rather kill a, a ghost with that. <laughs> uh-huh. All right, let's take our damage. Here... Oh, here's pretty good. The ghost won't walk adjacent to us. We get to kill it with the heal wand. Yeah, so this is this play I did is just better than what I was doing before. Off parity with a shrimp again. We can kite it. Oh, no, we can't. We can... Um... Shoot right, get our treasure over there. To switch parity? I think that's fine. Oh, that doesn't switch parity because it's instant. Waste our... Earthquake wand because we don't need it on this floor. It kills sideways. Okay. Uh, Any duplicate targets here? Duplicate key isn't bad. It's probably pretty good. It moves the key, though. Where's our key going? Oh, it picks up the key before it... Uh, duplicates it. Is that the order that the effects are on the wand? Oh, we don't know because we lost it. Uh, it's duplicate, pick up, forget, and then... Oh, what did we forget? God, I need to pay attention to forget things. I don't think we knew what this was, so I don't think we forgot anything of value. Would we want to re-roll anything we have currently? It wouldn't be too bad to re-roll make a wall. Oh, but that also does our two That's a That's a one-hit kill if we can make the wall. Maybe we don't want to re-roll that. Is there anything we want to re-roll? Not particularly. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Uh, all right, we got a chicken, and we can do our, our combo to it. So that's pretty good, right? Again, Earthquake's very hard to do. There's a potential swap to Earthquake, right? We could swap to an animal that moves here. It's kind of hard, though. Let's do our, uh, let's do our Akabar combo, I guess. Also hurts the chicken through the wall. That's pretty nice. Um. Bumping a shrimp here. I mean, one of these shots is pretty good. Do we need the health? Not really. So this takes care of that. And then we only have a, a two damage um, rooster beside us. Oh, I was hoping to duplicate, but I, I just remembered our duplicate's not... Uh, not there anymore. That was on our wand and we've used it. And we've used the thing that recharges our artifacts. Let's... uh. Any way to get more than one treasure from this wand? Yeah, that shot does, right? But it's like very roundabout. I think we're taking this shot, right? And then we're hitting... We're taking one damage from this rooster. I don't think we can do anything with these gems. We're trying to get two more treasure here. Do we take our shrimp damage, or do we shoot this wand? This wand could potentially save us if we get in a sapo situation. 
Can we, though? Uh, the, the door... We did move the door sort of close. No, we can't die. We've got swap, right? There's no way to die. <laughs> uh, take our health. Get this poppin'. Um... You would like to pick up this book... I think it's fine fighting the sapo. We could do it this way, right? And then we only take one damage. We've identified a useless effect. Alright, cool. Any reason to shoot this last wand somewhere? I have been afraid of shooting it most of the game. Maybe it does something when we shoot. Uh... Uh, we would have liked to shoot it up to recharge this to get more treasure. I don't see these other ones as being good recharge uh, targets. Shooting at a dead end, maybe? Maybe it's dead end treasure? You can try that here. We did get a treasure from it. Nice. Then our last two... Maybe we're swapping with this and then checking if this does what I think it does, which I think is just target a group and do one damage to that group. Probably. We don't know for sure, but that does seem to be consistent. Alright, cool. So that was six Zonas instead of five, as normal. We upgraded one of our artifacts. We got 39 points. Feeling good about this run. Very good so far. 2, 12, and 7. Cool. Once again, my wands have this <laughs> effect that I have not been able to discover and don't know what it does. <laughs> Maybe someday I'll, like, identify <sighs> what that is. Are those, are those the spaces we forgot from? I don't think they are. No, they're not. Like, I forgot. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Did I will this into existence by sh <laughs> by standing here shooting down and then this re-rolled into something that makes treasure? Is that what happened there? That's some, that's some big brain play. That's so... I didn't even know what I was doing. It's incredible. I think this this one was re-rolled. Re I don't... I can't remember. I don't know what these do. And I don't know how to figure them out. And somehow I've never found... Like, somehow I've never identified this effect. So this condition on this effect must be pretty rare. Uh, or it's just like some play pattern that I've never considered because I didn't... Like, maybe there's something that you can do that is usually superfluous. But since this effect exists, it's... It is, it is actually not superfluous, but I'm never doing it because there's no reason to do it normally. That's potentially what's happening. Uh, luckily, we didn't identify this root yourself effect. And is there anything else notable? It looks like we could have killed frogs with this wand. Um, sure. All right. I think that was pretty successful. Um, yeah, and we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.